from the 60s. They ring true today more than ever. In my opinion, my humble opinion, is better than all that shit that went on the way here today. James Brown and the Beatles. We were, we're all talking about collective unity and harmony and peace. About all peace on earth. Because we come from the generation that you're either part of the problem or part of the solution. There's no shucking and jiving, making excuses. Right. And, and this is the best way to put it, it's an invitation for us to pray together, to arrive at becoming United States. Because right now it's not really United States. It's called fragmented fear. When you sing the national anthem, is the land of the free and the home of the slave. <laughs> but we want to see something different. You and I, we can transmogrify. That means change the way you think and create in our time something beyond fear, because there's only love and fear. There's only love and fear. There's only love and fear. That's all there is. Love and fear. So, if we invest more money in education than incarceration, if we invest more money in unity instead of the Pentagon, see, the Pentagon is Defend, protect, and attack is still fear. It's, it's a building of fear. But I don't see a building of love. I want to see a building. I, I like to see next to the White House a black house here. And another one, a rainbow house, did you? Anyway, what we want is the same thing that the Doors used to say. We want peace and we want it now. We want world peace and we want it now. We can make it happen by changing your fear. Put a smile on your face from your heart and say, go like this to all the stupid shit. Don't let it stick to you. If you take it personal, it will affect you. If you don't take it personal, it means it has no power over your mind. One more time, you are significant, and you are meaningful, and you can make a difference in the world. Make every day the best day of your life. God bless you. Becoming one another. Thank you. Peace and love.